Hello everyone, welcome to your daily carving for uh, December 9th, 2014. Um, I, I ended up having a little vacation day today and I wasn't able to um, get around to doing the chicken reading, so I'll do that tomorrow. So um, you'll get that one tomorrow, but uh, this is for December 9th, 2014. And uh, my my website should be up and working now. I had to work with the um, website providers for a while. We had some difficulties with uh, switching everything over to a new card. For some reason, it didn't work. So um, they had shut off my website. But anyway, um, that that should be up and going now. Um, they said within the day, 24 hours. So anyway, um, on to the reading. I'm going to do... Uh, probably, uh, I think I'll do a wheel spread today and draw one Tree Magic Indicator card. Okay, we have the strawberry tree. It's uh, Rare Gifts. Let me go put this down here. And it says, uh, When seeds fall, they return home to their true essence. Your true essence brings return and the reintegration of spirit to spirit. The strawberry tree. Number 21. It's interesting. Uh, very deep. And 21... Um, 21 represents relating to another but within your own heart of hearts meaning um, in the best way for one for all and then this relation and strawberry actually um, it does represent the um, the nose and the also the um, the heart of the ego I know this is very strange symbolism but I know that uh, that's what strawberry represents. So it has a healing for the heart of the ego. And, um, you know, the, the ego is the lower animal mind. So, you know, anyone who has a problem with the ego has a problem with the way an animal perceives itself. And there's nothing wrong with the way animals perceive themselves. Unless, you know, maybe an animal has gone wrong or gone crazy or something, you know. But it's it's the the lower animal nature of humanity and the, the animal nature of any animal. And and this is this is the ego. This is the I am. And um, there's nothing wrong with I am. You know, it's it if you understand what God is or what the supreme being is, it it gets uh, it gets transformed into millions of different varieties of I am's and and these are all the egos and there's nothing wrong with that unless one ego turns bad or rotten and takes over other people and starts getting aggressive or dominating others then then there's a problem but there's nothing wrong with ego I mean there's predator and there's prey and this is the natural nature of of life that needs to go back into balance where everything's in harmony and uh, there's a way to have a harmony between all all life and uh, we need to get to that point but um, to say ego is bad or ego is always dominating or whatever I mean that the people who go mentally ill usually go mentally ill because they they forget themselves and they do they live their life for other people and when they hand their lives over to others then they don't uh, they stop living and they they hurt everybody all people suffer when a life chooses to commit suicide or sacrifice themselves for other people and this is this is the problem when people say there's a problem with ego there's no problem with ego ego is not a bad thing ego is you know I am and everyone has a right to be so um, this is the heart of the ego and this is the rare gifts and again I want to read this um, when seeds fall they return home to their true essence 
in the essence has a right to to be expressed through a mind through a, you know through a life and uh, it says your true essence brings return and reintegration of spirit to spirit and um, you know I've been actually I've been talking a lot uh, for some reason lately about the quality of chickens that um, that brings brings the spirit back uh, they, they do soul retrieval and they bring back parts of yourself that you've lost and that's that's when ego gets destroyed and uh, disintegrated and and we need to bring back parts of the ego this is the personality so we need to bring bring back the I am in the personality and bring back the, the happiness and the life to the individuals and um, and honor the beauty of the, the ego so um, anyway the strawberry is the the heart of the ego the love for the I am and you are the reintegration of spirit to spirit okay. Just for some reason I need to shuffle tonight a little bit and So, all right, we start out here with birdie baby, which is the divine birthing process that um, we are a part of, we get graced with, we uh, get the opportunity to be um, in a bigger picture for the universe, giving birth to something, uh, an evolution that happens beyond uh, individual person. Evolution has to do with many, many factors coming together and... Um, giving rise to something new but you know humans are a part of it so this has to do with something very great something something very very amazing coming into this world and you're a part of it and then so this is where we are right now there's there's something happening right now that we are um coming into a new existence with something very beautiful that um we are coming into we're a part of its its formation here or it's um yeah i mean it's it's manifestation on this planet and then um we have the way we relate to the mind like mentally the way we relate to the world right now is very contemplative it's very you know you go out and look at the stars and contemplate who you are in the grand scheme of things and what what your role is in the history of humanity and what your your part has been from the beginning of time kind of all your relations and what that's all about and um, where you are now and what's what's to come it's the larger picture uh, this is a Akasha Noche which is the Akashic records and um, the night the night sky and so noche means night. So this this has to do with um, really being at home with the universe and kind of opening up to the the grand story of the history of life and what your part is in it now. It's very very um, large, uh, expansive card here that has to do with you know kind of meditating. It's meditation. This has to do with meditation, contemplation, and um, and just really having that feeling of how how you fit into the larger picture of things. So this is how we're we're relating mentally to the life 
right now. And then, um, actually, this is Zodi, and this is the New Beginnings, which is um, also a very kind of contemplative card. It's almost like putting the contemplation in action, though. This has to do with um, your life path. It's just reaffirming that um, your life path is active right now in all of your relations and where you're going and what you're doing and your purpose for being here and uh, your step in your own personal growth. Um, this is kind of an affirmation of of your placement on on this physical planet in the physical world um, this is a physical card and it also has to do with um, kind of being taken up by by the larger powers so th these two cards are actually very very similar <laughs> this is this is more of an a mental emotional realm in it's in the mental position and then this is a very physical card, and it's in the new beginning. So there's something coming in about our, our life path. Something coming in about what we're here for, what, why we're born on this planet, what, what our very important life is all about. And this is um, just about to happen, and this is coming in physically. But we have this this moment of contemplation. It's almost like we, we're anticipating this. This is the the moment before this happens. It's like we, we see this. We're we're gearing up for this new beginning in our life purpose and something that's really gonna um, start shifting and changing something. You know, some major milestones in our life that are coming in here, and um, you know the rare gifts. And then uh, in the, the position of how we're relating to society here, in, in the social position, we have um, AMA, which has to do with um, relating to the world in a, a state of being provided for and then also providing for others. This is the queen mother that really takes care of everyone. And... Um, you know, this person is a very generous person, and whatever they have, they share. And they always feel provided for, and they always provide for others. And um, so it's kind of the dual relationship of um, providing for others and then also being provided for. But um, even though it is a physical card, there's also a psychological and emotional, um, pro you know, providing that goes along with this. So, this is, uh, I named her after, um, the, like, queen mothers in Africa, but also, um, Amachi, which is a queen, she, she's, uh, like a queen mother. Her role is similar, where she, um, she's a guru that takes care of people and has ashrams all over the world and provides for, for people in, um, mental, emotional, social, and physical ways. So, um, then we move into the space of transformation, and this is uh, chickpea. And chickpea has to do with um, the unexpected, the irony. And there's a change in the irony. There's a shift and a change and a transformation in what we expect or what what the normal expectations are or what the normal ironies are of our life, you know, whatever our luck is, there's a change. This is like, almost like the luck card, like, are you serious, that's my luck? Or, wow, you know, the, that's our luck, you know, and, but there's a shift and a change in what, what is lucky for us and why. So there's um, kind of a shift and a change in, um, and even though this is uh, the expecting the unexpected or, or just having the unexpected, so it's, it's weird because it's like a, what we don't expect is changing. So it's kind of like it cancels itself out in a way. But um, but I want I want to just say that I guess you know even though we don't expect it, I, I just expect surprises, changes isn't surprises. I don't know how else to say this. Um, 
to, with irony, we always can kind of see it coming. We, we, you know, we always see the duality of like, well, this should happen this way, but then there's always this alternative situation, you know, and then we never know what, what happens. And usually the alternative situation uh, happens, but then, you know, sometimes there's a flip and a change in that. So I'm just saying you're looking at the two, the two different ways and we just don't know. Uh, it's about a shift in the change in the degrees of what we can't see and a shift in a change in um, and kind of the, the facts that, that the side facts that might change the, the major relations. So there's major relations, but then there's all these side facts that, that make major relations go differently or, you know, make events go differently. And the facts the little side facts or the, the magnitude of the side facts are changing. So there's a, a shift in the change or a shift and change in, uh, in, in the influences that create what we may expect or, you know, what, what is our normal patterns that might be bizarre or what, you know, what our luck is, what, what kind of happens for us, you know. Um, so, shifting the change in the, the unexpected things that happen for us. I, I, ho I hope that makes sense for people. <laughs> but um, I think this is changes for the better and the unexpected for the better because um, it, it seems like a transformation in, in the surprises in a good way. And then we have um, the final outcome card here of the cycle, which is Bina. And this is uh, teaching and understanding and transmission of knowledge and really seeing things clearly and being able to communicate and live them and um, have, have truth be known and experienced by all where there's just no, no argument, no question, no doubt, no, um, no side story. It just... It just is uh, truth and, and reality, you know. It's when, when something gets so solidified in knowledge that um, it's just a solid and stable stepping stone for everyone where, you know, humanity has mastered something as, as a whole. And, um, and that there's just communication and knowledge and understanding about a concept or, you know, a, a state of being. So, um, and then overall, our message here is just to have fun and enjoy yourself, have the playful nature, you know, keep everything light, keep your light heart and um, your playful nature and enjoy the moment to moment and have that inner child and that innocence um, in, in a very good way where you know you're light and positive with with everybody and um just bringing that out of everybody also just having that interaction of um of the sunshine because she you know uzumi this is uzumi and uh she's the the goddess of joy and happiness that brings the sunshine out and the bright day and the, the you know the time in the sun for everybody so Okay, again, now we step back and look at this again, and we have um, something really amazing and powerful coming into existence, but <clears throat> there's almost this, uh, like, quiet contemplation, this readying, this um, preparation, like, in silence, and, and it's true, before things happen, we always kind of anticipate it and kind of gear up for it, so there's this gearing up for something coming in here. That's a major shift and change, a stepping stone, a pivotal point, a, a major marker that's important for our life path in our relations. And then we have um, a way to relate with everyone where we're just providing for things, and our luck is changing, and we have this, um, this teaching going on where uh, we have this solid relationship with people where they can hear us and they can know us, you know, and it, it kind of ties into this, this card here that's social, 
um, because this is also a social this has to do with um, you know relations between people so um, this is being able to provide for people in all ways but then there's this extra enhancement on um, knowledge and facts in, in uh, existence a, a realm of existence that's shared and, and understood and transmitted and uh, there's a transmutation which has to do with everybody transforming together here so um, you know we have this love and provision this pr providing for in all ways physically mentally emotionally and then we have this change in our luck just really just a shift in a change and things and then um, everybody being provided for and the overall the overall um, message here is to just really keep everything light and fun and enjoy our lives and um, cherish our moments and again it says when seeds fall they return home to their true essence and your true essence brings return and the reintegration of spirit to spirit and it's interesting because uh, the rare gifts and relating to people and, and being all for one and one for all uh, healing the ego healing the ego and this is also about the ego and this is this is also about the ego this contemplates the the self and this this is the self in action here and um, the the reintegration spirit to spirit this um, the essence the the um, the soul retrieval here we have going on with this card that brings the soul to everybody in the first place birdie baby and then um, we have you know really being with one another in all ways here in in this mothering aspect and then um, this change this this irony you know just things things really um, magically manifesting a little bit differently the the surprises that um, of the the deep nature the essences are are able to um, really get expressed or there's interaction where the, the core the core factors the core values are, are getting expressed and there's this um, change in um, the the math work the equations there's a sh change in the equations the, the puzzle is able to come together differently now and um, and then again, after this, after an integration, you have this this transmutation, this um, major shift and change for everybody. And then um, with Uzumi, this playfulness and uh, inner child. I mean, that that is your your true essence, anyway. Is that inner child? That's that's you at your core. When you feel like yourself, like a child, in you know. You just feel like back to you. That that's this feeling of of happiness and joy when you can just really smile and have no stress in your face or in your body. You know, you just have this um, peaceful, calm, happy moment, and that's what you have when you're you're in your essence. And um, when you're a child, you have your full spirit, and then, you know, things might take it away. But then we need to always come back to ourselves and come back to the spirit and have these rare, rare gifts um, come about by, by being fully here and fully present with everybody. So, um, anyway, I hope everybody got what they needed out of this today. And um, I, will, I will do the... the uh, weekly reading tomorrow and so you will have that tomorrow and um, and then we'll again go back to the daily readings the day after so anyway um, I will talk to you all tomorrow thanks a lot